am an endangered species, but I sing no victim song. I am a woman, I am an artist, and I know where my voice belongs. I'm an endangered species, ha! but I sing no victim song. I am a woman, I am an artist, and I know My name is Cheryl Lee Ralph, and I love you just the way you are, because trust me, God, she does not make mistakes. <laughs> December 20th, 1981, I made my Broadway debut. Actually, that is not true. I made my Broadway debut in one of two flops that were just too disastrous to mention. And so, I rewrite the facts to suit myself. <laughs> December 20th, 1981, I made my Broadway debut in what has become the iconic musical of the 80s, Dream Girl. Dream Girls, also known as Beyonce's best film performance to date. <laughs> Dream Girls for me was the best and the worst of all times. The best, of course, was being the belle of the ball on Broadway, being showered each and every night with the kind of applause that lets you know that you were loved, loved, ah. Oh, really, truly, deeply loved. <laughs> oh yeah, honey. Couldn't get a cab once the curtain came down. But that's a whole nother story. Each and every night, I got to share the stage with some of the most talented people of a generation, Loretta Devine, oh, my good friend to this day, Jennifer Lewis, Je uh, ooh, did I say that? Jennifer Holliday would kill me. <laughs> Jennifer Holliday, truly one of the greatest voices ever. Those were some incredible times for us. But then, right there at the midst of one of the greatest time in my life, came the worst, and the worst was when men up and down Broadway just started dropping dead. Gay men just started dropping dead of a mysterious disease, and you see, they were sick today and dead tomorrow. Sick today and dead tomorrow. They got sick, some of them developed those strange purple marks on their body, and they died. And there was no dying process, not like the one to which we become used to nowadays. Uh-uh, they got sick and died. And then the horrible silence fell over their suffering. Because you see, shh, we don't talk about that, shh. We don't talk about that, shh. We don't talk about that gay disease. And in the midst 
of the greatest time in my life, I stood witness to such an ugly time in America. A time when good people, kind people, people of all religions, faiths, and belief found it easy to just dump their sick children off on church stair steps like bags of used clothing at a rummage sale. People found it easy to just abandon their friends in hospital driveways and leave them there dying for help. But there was no help for them. Uh-uh. Because you see, doctors, nurses, hospital administrators, oh, they were afraid. They were afraid of it all. They were afraid of those purple marks, and they wore their fear like anger. There were even some doctors who said, why? Why would you send me? a patient like that. Such an ugly time in America. And it was then that I found my voice around AIDS. Not HIV, AIDS. Because you see, back then, that was a mysterious disease that had no name. It was simply called GRID, Gay-Related Immune Deficiency Disease. That is the name for the disease that we have now come to know as HIV backslash or forward, depending upon whether you're a person or a computer. <laughs> AIDS. And you know something? There is a big difference between that G and that H. Because you see, gay became human. Gay became human. And that's too bad. Because it always was. But I guess we took comfort letting those... I guess we took comfort letting those gay people suffer. See, little did we know, if one of us suffers, we all suffer. And to this day, I believe, had we as a nation, as we as human beings, as we as good people, cared more when gay people were suffering, we would not be in the position we are in now when we all know that AIDS affects us all. But you see, somebody's got to remember Somebody's got to remember what that silence was like. Somebody's got to remember what that suffering was like. Somebody has got to remember and speak up about it because if we do not find our voice and speak up and out for people, no matter who they are, no matter what they are, trust me, people, things will only get worse.